I, I think it's kind of kismet that I will call on the same day as the guy that doesn't believe in evolution and really <laughs> believes in feathers. <laughs> um, I have kind of the opposite story from him, and I, I hoped it was okay if I just shared it. Um, I, I grew up in a very, very religious household to the point where uh, I was told that if you even thought, you know, a, a doubt that God knew it, and, and you, you were know, busted. you were in trouble. Yeah. Exactly. Did you ever blaspheme against and, the Holy Spirit? I mean, can you even have the gall to do so, to think, you know? And Because, um, you know, Jesus can it, forgive it, that, but the Holy Spirit will not forgive that. He's just kind of a pissy oh, bitch that way. I know, right? And, you know, even though I did not uh, proceed through my life as, uh, as devout a Christian as, the, uh, as my family, I did hold those things, that indoctrination inside. And I, I remembered mm. those things. So when people would say things, it would scare me. I would, like, step away. Lightning bolt. Yeah. yeah. You know? And um, I got married, and, and uh, my husband uh, confessed to me that he was an atheist. And at first, I was like, I don't want to hear it. Mm. I don't want to hear it. La, know, la, lightning la, bolt la. again. Ah. And, um, you know, I, but I'm not a closed-minded person. So finally I came back. I was like, tell me more. And he introduced me to the atheist experience and he introduced me to what he thought. So that started me doing research. And um, I'll just pause in the middle and tell you. Well, I tell you, once you start idea. doing research, this story takes a violent turn from Christianity. <laughs> but go ahead. Doesn't it though? Doesn't it though? Doesn't it though? Yeah. I can't tell you how many I can't tell you how many Christian preachers I know who say they studied their way out of Christianity. Exactly, but you know what really did it for me, and and I I don't mean to to sound awful, but I do have a history of drug and alcohol abuse. Hmm. That's not and, awful. <laughs> um, it was when I was a Christian. I was a full fledged Christian and completely, you know, wow. immersed in this abuse. And it wasn't until I was reading and researching, and I'm telling you, binge watching Atheist Experience and, you know, a lot of Matt's uh, debates, and, and I just love you, Tracy. You're awesome, and David, you're, you're awesome, too. Um, this is I, our favorite caller so far the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of came to this conclusion that Christianity was a replacement drug. Mm -hmm. I was going through... Uh, a rehab facility that was supposed to be secular. I mean, it wasn't based on any sort of, you know, uh, religious basis. But um, I would hear story after story. God got me off of drugs. God got me off of drugs. God got me to stop drinking. God, you know, Jesus saved me. Jesus did he send you a feather when he did that? <laughs> and now God is all I think about all the time, constantly. I know, right? So, you know, I'm sitting here thinking, then why is this the fourth time you've been in rehab? Uh. And yeah. and it wasn't until I started realizing that no God was going to save me, no Jesus was going to come down in some ball of light, and no angel was going to appear at the foot of my bed and tell me that these drugs and alcohol were bad, and that I needed to save myself. And you know what? But I became. It's like Jesus. Harry Potter when he we, threw that Patronus, and he's like, <laughs> "It was me all the long. It, was it you wasn't all my dad." And right? I just want to give you a huge shout out, Ginger, because that is huge, and. Somebody who knows that and nothing else knows more than anybody who knows everything else and doesn't know that. The fact that you had a horrible problem, it was ruining your life, and who saved you? You saved you. Right. And I, I cannot I give you a shout out enough for that and right. just applaud you for that. Thank you. I'm going to get teary. Thank you very, oh. very much. I very much appreciate that. And I just also want to say that atheism also helped me through the death of my mother. It was okay that I was not going to see her anymore. I, I let that go. It's okay. It was not one of these things where people, you know, I hear people call and they talk and they say, I just can't bear the thought of not seeing my loved ones again. Well, you know what? My mom's out of pain. Yeah. And, you know, it, it, I'm fine with it. it. Atheism has helped me come to grips with so many things in my life yeah. that, that has saved me. Yeah. If I needed saving. I think it's very empowering. Either. What you're describing is very empowering. That oh, idea yeah. that, you know what, I 
have to do this or it's not going to get done. And what's ironic is that you have these theistic <laughs> sayings, like these little colloquial sayings that are so geared toward atheism, like God helps those who help themselves. And it's like, wow, that's... Yeah, uh, that's... Yeah. That's kind of like saying you need better help yourself because you're not going to get help from God. Well, I think it's an atheist miracle, and I have faith in you, Ginger. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And It's you like know, atheist it's Christmas. It's like atheist Christmas here. <laughs> Thank you, Ginger. I just want to give a big shout-out to the atheist experience because you guys were kind of the first program that I started binge-watching, and I learned so much about how to defend myself Aww. because I... I still have a lot of religious family members that are really just on me all the time. And now I, I know what to say back. And, you know, that just helps so much. You don't know. And when people call you and they ask you, why do you do this show? If there's something you don't believe in, what, you know, why do you, what do you <laughs> Oh, do I you believe do? in a lot of I'm things. Gonna yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going right. to tell you, I, it's for people like me. Yeah. All right. It's for yeah. people who who want to know more. Well, thank you and for calling, Ginger. I appreciate you sharing your affirmation. That was wonderful. It oh. was. I, ho I think that probably I helped a lot of people. And if I can give a shout out to I Recovering really, really like from Religion Foundation, mm -hmm. um, there's yeah. there's a hotline just for people like us, who, you, or people like you who are atheists and still need to talk about the damage that religion did to them. Um, Recovering from Religion Foundation. I, I just can't praise those guys enough. Um, they definitely need to call that because in my first recovery center actually kicked me out after saying I was an atheist. And wow. we actually have the link to recovering from religion. How about I just that? Checked. Another atheist miracle uh, right our, here. In our resources uh, on the open show thread. <laughs> so just FYI to folks, if you feel like you're in need of that kind of help, um, you can reach out to them. Yeah, please call. But I know you guys are running short on time. I thank you so, so much for letting me speak. All right, well, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. We love you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Oh, All right. That was the best. That was the best. <laughs> that made all that feather talk work it. <laughs>